Hey guys, just got my groceries delivered from Whole Foods and I wanted to show you what I got. So here's what I got from Whole Foods today. It was a pretty light delivery. I just needed a couple things and I was just running short on time. So I decided to go with their two hour delivery. It's free if you order over $35 worth of groceries and it gets to you within two hours. So it's pretty awesome, pretty cheap and convenient way to get your groceries if you're running short on time. It's uh, pretty nasty outside here. And who really feels like going to the grocery store right now? So yeah, let's get into it. So first I'm gonna start off with uh, the food that I normally eat for dinner, which goes back and forth daily. Some nights I'll have quinoa and ground beef with some pasta sauce and cheese. Now sometimes I will change up the cheeses that I get. Today I decided to go with some Munster and mild cheddar. Other weeks I'll go with mozzarella, sharp cheddar, Kobe Jack, Monterey Jack. Um, really it's just depending on what I'm feeling for the week. And as far as pasta sauce goes, this is pretty much my favorite one. They do have a four cheese one. In my opinion, it's not as good as the Italian herb. So if you're looking for a good pasta sauce, this is definitely the one. Now my eggs, I like Vital Farms. They treat their chickens pretty humanely, um, as far as I can tell. But just to take a look at the eggs. Pretty nice looking eggs. They give you a little pamphlet in here. It tells you all about the farm. Highly recommend these eggs if you're looking for a good organic option. Actually, I think these are just not GMO. They were out of the organic, so be careful. Sometimes Whole Foods, they are out of the stuff that you need. Now the Ezekiel bread, I pretty much stick to this kind. Um, I really like this. It's all organic, non-GMO, really good stuff. You just keep it in your freezer, toast it real quick or let it thaw out, throw some butter on there, whatever you want to throw on there. It's awesome. So highly recommend this bread. Next. Got four avocados. I eat one avocado every night with dinner. So I just got four organic avocados right here. These are a great source of fats. These are the lemons I got. See organic right on the back. What I do in the morning is I'll cut a lemon in half, squeeze it into a glass of water and pour a tablespoon or two of apple cider vinegar in there. And it makes a really nice drink. It's very healthy, full of antioxidants, so I highly recommend that to anybody who's looking for a good morning routine. Now, for the berries and kale and MCT oil, I'll put these all in a smoothie, and in that smoothie, I'll put ice, milk, the frozen berries, usually half a cup, a full cup of frozen chopped kale, a tablespoon of MCT oil, half a cup of organic traditional oats, two to three tablespoons of organic Valencia peanut butter, two tablespoons of chia seeds, and protein powder. Great smoothie. It's about 1200 calories, keeps me full all day until I get to that dinner. Quick note on the chopped frozen kale. This is a great solution for you if you're tired of buying fresh kale, cleaning it, cutting it up, and freezing it. This is just such a better solution. It's not that expensive. So go ahead and give this a try next time you shop at Whole Foods. So that's what I got today, guys. Hey guys, so since my grocery haul was so light today, I decided to show you some of the other things that I eat on a daily basis, uh, some supplements that I take, and snacks that I eat. So let's get into it. So first is my bacon. I get this organic Applegate, no sugar added, uncured, with no nitrates or nitrites. It is pretty expensive, but in my opinion, it's definitely worth it. The milk I get, Organic Valley grass milk, all grass-fed cows, organic whole milk. I do drink whole milk. I'm not afraid of fat. <laughs> so this is the peanut butter that I get. It is the Kirkland Signature brand. It's organic using U.S. Valencia peanuts. If you don't know what U.S. Valencia peanuts are, do some research on them and decide what peanut butter is best for you. I'm interested to know what kind of peanut butter you guys use. So throw that in the comment below. This is the oatmeal that I use and I put this in my smoothie every day. I get the Bob's Red Mill Organic Old Fashioned Rolled Oats. This is the quinoa that I eat. I get it from Amazon and I get it delivered every couple months. But this is all organic, health work, superfood, whole grain quinoa. Here's the chia seeds I get. I get these from Amazon and I will link all the stuff in the description below. So if anybody wants to go ahead and try any of this, it'll be down in the description. Okay, so next we're gonna go on to the snacks that I eat. So I don't really eat too many junk foods, but when I do snack, I like to have a ton of sunflowers on hand. This is a four pound bag that I get from Amazon, 
and it's not organic. It's pretty tough to find organic sunflower seeds, especially when they're still in the kernel. And I like them when they're still in the kernel because it's fun to chew and it's hard to eat a lot when you have the kernels on because it takes so long to eat them. So really good way to watch your calories is eating the sunflower seeds in the kernel. Next up is my hippies, an organic chickpea snack. And the flavor I like to get is Nacho Vibes. It's basically like a Cheeto, and these are just so good. I highly recommend these if you guys haven't tried them before and you're looking for a healthier option for a snack. They aren't crazy good for you, but they're gonna be better than a bag of Doritos. So this is the dark chocolate that I get. I eat dark chocolate with my breakfast every day, and I like this organic, dark, 85% and I get this from Amazon. Comes with 10 bars of chocolate and I get this ordered about every two months. So moving on to the supplements I take, I do take a half a scoop of protein powder every day in my smoothie and the brand that I like is Bear Performance Nutrition. If you don't know of him, Nick Bear, he's a big YouTuber. He does triathlon training, Ironman training, marathon training, all that type of stuff. So I, I watch his videos a lot and I decided to support him. So I got his protein. And I gotta tell you guys, this blueberry muffin is probably the best tasting protein powder I've ever had. And the ingredients are not that crazy. You can check them out for yourself right here. Pretty light for a protein powder. I mean, even just compared to the milk and cookies, you know. So moving forward, I probably will stick with the blueberry muffin and it tastes amazing. Next up, we've got the electrolytes I take. So if you're like me and you run a lot or you're in the gym a lot, you're gonna be sweating a lot. And when you sweat, you're losing salt and electrolytes. So I like to replenish mine with BPN G1M Sport, that stands for Go One More. Um, it's got 20 grams of fast digesting carbohydrates in it, 350 milligrams of sodium. If you guys aren't replenishing your sodium and electrolytes with some sort of supplement, I highly recommend that you use some pink Himalayan sea salt and some water after your workouts. It's gonna make the world of a difference. You're not gonna be so tired, so try it out. Next up is an electrolyte powder. This is from Dr. Berg. He's another YouTuber. Um, he's more on the nutrition side of things, but this is just a 1,000 milligram dose of potassium. So check it out, do your own research, and decide what supplements are gonna be right for you. But this, I've been using this for years. I drink it every day and I will continue drinking it every day. And if you're wondering, I do take creatine. I like creatine hydrochloride and I get this in bulk from Amazon. I've had this package for probably two years now and it's still got about a quarter of the way left to go. So this is a super cost effective way to buy your creatine. Forget going to the supplement store and buying creatine. I think we're all smart enough that we don't do that anymore. So do your research and try to get your stuff a little cheaper. I think this cost me $15 for this entire thing. It's got 500 servings, so it'll last you multiple years. Next up are just my general vitamins that I take. I take sea kelp, cruciferous superfoods, D3 and K2, vitamin C, and cod liver oil. And just uh, real quick on this cruciferous superfood, I'll go into the ingredients with you on what's in here. But it is, um, I mean, it's pretty awesome. It's got beets, Brussels sprout, collard greens, asparagus, kale, parsley, red radish, cabbage, garlic, turmeric, and kelp powder. So just a ton of powerful vegetables that you're getting in a pill form. You don't gotta eat all that crap. So <laughs> I take this every day. It's very healthy for you. So these are all made by Dr. Berg, by the way. So same as my electrolyte powder. All right, and next up, guys, is something that not a lot of people probably take or know about, but I am super into mushrooms. Um, I think there's a lot of research coming out on them and on how powerful they are. So I've gotten really into them lately, and these are the supplements that I take. I've tried a f quite a few out already, and these are kind of the ones that I've stuck to. So this is five defenders and it's got five different types of mushrooms in it. They're all basically working towards improving your immune strength. Now those mushrooms are turkey tail, reishi, maitake, shiitake, and chaga mushrooms. And just again, these are awesome for your immune system. So do your own research on these guys. I'm not gonna go into all the research and the details on all this stuff, but I'll link all this stuff in the description for you guys to check out. Next up is lion's mane mushroom, and this is good for your cognition. 
It's been scientifically proven to regenerate neurons in the brain, so that's called neurogenesis, but very powerful stuff. If you struggle with brain fog, loss of memory, anything like that, you're really gonna see some improvement from this. And last, we have the cordyceps mushroom. Now, this is great for performance, so if you're an endurance athlete, if you run a lot, if you're in the gym a lot, this is really gonna help you to be able to, to withstand all that exercise. So I highly recommend if you're a high performance athlete that you take cordyceps mushroom, do your own research. These are all organic. This brand is Real Mushrooms and they've got a website, so check them out. All right guys, so that was my Whole Foods grocery haul. And if you're wondering why I look a little bit different right now, it's because all of my footage that I recorded a couple days ago got ruined and I had to redo it again because of some audio issues. So here I am a couple days later if you guys are still here, thank you so much. You're my true supporters. If you could please make sure you have the like button clicked down below, subscribe. There's a little notification bell next to the subscribe button. If you could hit that, that means you'll get all my new videos as soon as they come out. I'm gonna be uploading every weekend at 9 a.m. on Saturday. So be sure to look out for my new videos and throw a comment down below. What, what kind of things do you guys buy from Whole Foods? Do you go all organic? Do you shop somewhere else? What do you think about what I buy and what I eat? I'm interested to know, so please let me know in the comments below. All right, thank you, and I'll see you next time.